Hello friend, my name is Chris Solomona and today I'm going to show you how to make an umu. So follow me. Firstly, doing an umu, we got to have lots of firewood. Firewood this size. We got to have lots of coconut husk, dry ones. We got to have lots of coconut shells, dry ones. Because we're going to build a huge fire. The more firewood that goes in it, the better the rocks will be heated up. So when we get to the fire part, I like to show you an old school style. Now we're going to start a fire. Now by doing that, we're going to use two sticks. One like this, we call it the fao, and a small one like this. So I'm going to rub it together. This is going to take two hours. So it's all about technique, and you got to have patience. All these skills that you learn as you grow up, it's more like by watching and listening to your elders and to your parents and to your uncles. Uh, they never actually grab you by the hand and actually show you something. It's more like they always tell you this phrase, so it's pretty much just watching and watching and listening. And at a certain age, I would say 15 or 16, you just slowly pick up these things, you know, and you naturally do it without even being taught. So your eyes and your ears plays a very, very important part. So let's see if it works. Now we've got the wood sparked. Now I'm gonna get this dry husk already pulled up into pieces. And I'm gonna pour the burning dust in there and then to make a flame out of it. Now, next thing we do, we get the dried coconut uh, leaves. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Now we're going to ready to start a fire. Like I said earlier, we've got to have lots of firewood. Because given the food that we're going to cook in here, we're looking at taro, bananas, fish. Uh, and in Samoa, it's sort of bad luck or sort of a curse if you open it up and it's not cooked. Now we've got the fire going. We've got all the firewood on top of it. Now the next step is the rocks. Now you see these rocks. Even though Samoa is a volcanic island, but you cannot just get any rocks laying around. The rocks that we have to use are the rocks from the river or the rocks from along the coastline. Because those rocks are much more compacted. What happens if you just heat up any rocks laying around, they will go poof, disintegrate. So now we have to put it on top of the fire and let them heat up. So it'll take about, I will say, uh, half an hour to 40 minutes. So uh, afterwards, the firewood will run out and all you'll have is a big old pile of red hot rocks ready for the food to go in it. Now we've got the fire going with the rocks being heated up. Now the next step is by heating up all these leaves. This is a banana leaf. The reason why we heat it up because these are the leaves we're gonna use for wrapping the food that we're gonna uh, cook in the umu. The reason why we heat it up because to make the material much more flexible. If you just get the leaf off the tree and try to wrap things up with it, it'll tear up. So now we still got the fire going with the rocks getting heated up. Now we're back to the food preparation. Now I'm gonna show you one of our delicacies. <laughs> well, not only ours, but all Polynesian people. This is what we call palusami. It's made out from the mixture of taro leaves and coconut cream. Now the taro leaves are not just any leaves. You have to get the baby ones, baby ones, the real soft ones. So you gotta have the certain amount of leaves. The wrong way to do it, and then it won't taste as good. Yeah. Then put it in a cone shape. And at the same time, make sure it doesn't leak out. And then we've got the coconut cream. You can see right here. Pour the coconut cream inside and make sure it doesn't leak out. Then softly and gently wrap it up like this. Now remember the leaves that I heated up earlier? The banana leaf. Sit it in there, wrap it up nice and gently. Mascara wounds. The breadfruit leaf. So when it's cooked on the hot rocks, actually, the coconut cream was soaked into the taro leaves and it's yummy. Now the rocks are ready to go, all heated up. Now the boys are getting ready to put the food in it. Usually there are three levels of it. The taro goes on the first level because it takes a lot of heat. 
you know, to cook it. Banana. And then we have bananas on the side. Those are what we call misiluki. They're really good roasted when they're cooked. Now once we've got the food in, we've already covered up the rocks. Now the next level is putting the palusami on top of it. Because the palusami or the luau, or the luau, it doesn't take that much heat to cook it. So that's the reason why we put the leaves on top of it before we set the luau ones up. With the fish, goes on top too because all it takes is more like steam to cook it. Then the next thing that we do is covered up with as much green leaves as possible to make sure no steam will escape. <laughs> We have to stamp down the edges to make sure the leaf will sit down and, you know, it won't, uh, no steam will escape out of it. Usually this is how we determine how long the food is going to be cooked. By the time we get done weaving these baskets, everything should be ready to go. Then we'll uncover it. Okay, everybody, baskets are ready. That means our food is cooked and ready to be uncovered. So let's uncover our room. Well, the way it looks, everything is cooked. Wish you can smell it from there. Right now, mmm, tasty. So in Samoa, whenever we do a umu, everything has to be shared. Because we are in the village, we have to share it with our neighbors. So we have uh, neighbors over there, the neighbors over there, so each one gets a share. That's what I mean earlier about make sure the charcoal is in the bottom. Because if the charcoal is on the top, this is what we'll get, all burned. Now we've come to the final stage, or the main part where we did all this work. Now you've seen how we do the umu, all the hard work that the boys and my whole crew has put into it. So congratulations everyone, now you know how to do a umu. So when you go home, whenever there's a fa'ala velade, or whenever there's a wedding, or a funeral, or graduation, you can step in and do the umu yourself. Fafetai for being with us, enjoy. <laughs>